what is going on guys dbg here and today lads i just gotta say this these cards are so bad for how expensive they are there is no card that's like you know affordable price in this entire set like i'm looking up vladimir radmanovich i'm looking up the best of the pink diamonds i'm paying 20k man vladimir radmanovich is not that good i'm sorry he's just not he's mediocre like the guy is fine the guy is absolutely fine as a card. But you might be saying, oh, why are you spending 21k on Vladimir Radmanovich? First of all, I want to get some gameplays out. It's currently half, it's currently 20 to 1 in the morning. I want to spend one more hour making videos today. And then I want to go to bed. I want to go to bed. I want to spend one more hour making videos today. I want to go to bed. I'm in the Philippines. It's late. And I want, like, I do have a little bit of time sectioned off at, like, Un completely unreasonable hours where I shouldn't be awake to do a little bit of work. But, like, I might really spend... I just spend 20k... I have 26,000 MT. Like, this is not an account where I have a lot of MT at all. I just spent, like, the 20 out of 26. I spent almost... I almost spent, like, 80% of my money on Vladimir fucking Radmanovic. And like, if you guys know, this account freaking stinks. Like, at least I got a couple of guys that can hoop a little bit, I guess. Like, Simmons and Big Taco. But like... Lads. Lads, Radmanovic is fine, though. He could be a good card. He could be a really nice card for all we know. Because he's got a good three ball. He's 6'10", big player build. His defensive stats are mediocre. Speed is just about possible for this stage of the game. But he's going to have 54 total badges, including, like, range, which could be really, really nice. So I'm interested to see how Vladimir Radmanovic plays in-game, to be completely honest. That's one of my one of the things I'm more interested in. Is because he's one of the... I initially thought Vladimir Radmanovic is going to be 5k MT. He's going to be a budget god. Nah, none of these guys are going to be budget The only guys going to be budget gods are the scrubs. Oh, that release is smooth. I don't like that size up. That's just bad by me. I need to get used to that release because it is pretty nice. I will admit that. Nice Dane behind the back. No, that is a good release. Especially, like, off the catch, it's nice. One word, six letters. We out here taking leaners and all that. Um, I might be the worst person ever at doing dragbacks. But, like, if he, again, if you get open with Vladimir Romanovich, he's not missing. I still think, as far as his release goes, he's definitely better than Richard Lewis. Like, he's more expensive than Richard Lewis and Page. They're both, like, 18, 19k. It's kind of wild as well. Every, the floor price of these cards is nuts. Like, unless you want to buy Gus Williams or Speedy Claxton. Like, you're kind of screwed. You are. Like, even Jordan Poole's expensive. Jordan Poole sucks, and he's expensive. But Vladimir Romanovich, he's fine different type of player i don't think he's gonna be much better or worse than a poku but not bad like he will shoot the lights out again i might miss a lot in the gameplays because i'm playing on like a port freaking portable monitor right now so if i'm missing gameplays i'm missing the gameplay but i'm telling you that release is really nice that whatever upper that is does make does in fact make the uh, carmelo anthony base better i will admit it, it makes the mellow base better but uh yeah so I've already gotten like three vids out today. I got this one. I got... Ooh, I sold another player. I got the like... E talking about the Easter event. And I got to record probably one to two more after this. I want to stay... I want to record for 45 minutes and then I'm... And I'm finito. I'm finito for today. So. How long ago was it? It was this long ago that I had Austin Reeves playing for me. That's the last time I record. Maybe it was a Jeremy Lin gameplay. Uh, Benjamin, you got in there. Do I have a shooting guard? I mean, I have Ricky. Ricky works, I guess. Uh, the the taco fell at center, I guess. Because we don't have that much else. Maybe Yao. Now taco man get center. Like, you're, like, even Simbular is expensive. Simbular sucks, man. 
Sim Bular sucks, and yet Taco is gonna be Taco still super expensive. Anyone can play power forward? Do I really have to play like Mike in there or something? Jaron Jackson Jr. Do you want to play there? <laughs> Does anyone want to play power forward? It doesn't have a normal. They all have normal timing. Oh. Oh, that's all I can say. Oh. Um. You, Mel Daniels, you're not terror. Oh, Mel Daniels absolutely sucks. What am I talking about? I'm pretty sure he's got the fall big. The fall big. I mix them up with. I have Larry Nance. Larry Nance, you can get in power forward. So, lads, I genuinely could not find a game. I'm not even joking. I'm talking to my few friends that I know that are on Asia servers. They basically told me, yeah, you're not going to find a game. It was 25 minutes. <laughs> I could not find a game for 25 minutes. So, Vladimir Radmanovic, as much as I like you, you're going to go down in price. So, let me just put you up for a price that I can get something back for him. But, like, again, I'm paying, I paid 20k. I paid a premium. I paid a premium for this guy. And the reason is that none of these guys are coming out of packs. If you want to... If you basically want a card, if you want a pink diamond card, you're getting Speedy Claxton or Mo or freaking, oh, what's his name? Um, Gus Williams every single time. No if, ands, or buts about it. If you want a pink diamond, you're getting those guys. Heck, even things expensive. Even Uber is not even that good and he's expensive. But like we compare that to last week. We can actually, this, like this literally was five weeks ago. This was five. This was four weeks ago. Sorry, and like Reddish was where he was 14k. Lance was 5k, 5k. Like these guys were cheap, man. They were cheap. Last week was cheap, but now you're looking at Jordan Poole. Rudy Fernandez is like 70k. Obviously, AK is more than that. What price are these guys? Rose is probably 200k. Who? What idiot is paying 700k for Rose? I'm sorry. What idiot is paying that amount of MT? Why is Rose the most expensive? I'm guessing Wilt is, because Wilt is Wilt. No, why is Rose right now looking like he might be the most expensive of these? It's just wild, man. It is just absolutely wild. The prices of these cards. Like, if you want to get Simbular, you're paying for Simbular. You're paying 10k plus for Simbular. It's it's kind of wild. He, the guy sucks. Ubre Jr., again, this guy's 10k plus. Like, Gus Williams and Speedy Claxton are basically this guy value. But, okay, they're a 5'11 and 6'2 point guard. This is the worst set we've ever seen. This is the worst set we've ever seen, lads. Pools, like, pools above 20. Like, the floor price on these used to be 15. Pools above 20, lads. He's above 20. Oh, it's just, man, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. And it's even more annoying that I can't even play the game. At the same time, at the same time, I can make this video, I can upload this video and talk about these cards being expensive. I can talk about the event and I can, I don't know, do something else, I guess. A little bit later and, well, I, I don't even know. I, just, I can get some sleep, I guess, because that's one benefit is that maybe I only work, I only work two hours. I guess that's a positive, I guess, of this whole thing. Is that I've only worked two hours on a Friday and I can get some sleep before uh, a fun day tomorrow. But uh, yeah. So anyway, that is the video. Bit of a weird video, but every one of these pro cards has a 40%. 40%. Not even high player tax. 40% and nobody opened these packs tax. A lot like maxed out back in the day. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.